What's up, guys? It's me, uh, Cam Gwynn, and uh, if you can't read this right here, <clears throat> Sweet 16. Yeah, the tournament's still going on. Starts back up tomorrow, and uh, we have the 16 best teams in the nation duking it out right now. Ha. So, while we're at it, let's just look at what we got going on, and I'll make the predictions as we go, I guess. So, my bracket is terrible. I'm in like last place in like all my pools, but you know, that's okay. It's still a great time. So in the East, the four best teams in the East, we got Duke versus Virginia Tech. Duke, probably going to win. They did struggle a little bit against UCF, but they still got the W. And uh, I don't know. They just look, they're, they're going to win. There's, it'll be probably be another close game because Virginia Tech's probably going to play really really hard because imagine being the team to get rid of duke with zion and rj and trey and cam and yeah anyway and then we also have from the east we have lsu versus michigan state michigan state is looking great as much as it pains me to say i'm just kidding michigan show love but um msu looks really good cassius winston has been playing really good their offenses looked great their defense has been really good too so how can you go against MSU on this one? So then we go down to the West. We got Gonzaga versus Florida State. Uh, Gonzaga is going to be too much. It's just going to be too much. Florida State has been looking really, really good and playing really, really good basketball in the tournament. But it's Gonzaga. They're they're just they're so good. They're a number one seed for a reason. They're number one in the nation for a reason. You know, they're a good team. And then. Texas Tech versus Michigan, also in the West on the other side. Uh, go blue. That's all I'm going to say. So then we'll go over to the Midwest. Um, we got North Carolina against Auburn. Auburn has been playing good basketball, like really, really good basketball. This is like kind of a hard one to pick, to be honest, because North Carolina has been playing good basketball also, and I believe that May is probably just going to command the center, the po or the paint, I should say, center position. But I don't know, man. Auburn could do something here, but I'm going to go with North Carolina because my gut tells me North Carolina. And also in the Midwest, Houston and Kentucky. Houston, dark horse team. I think they can do it. And you, uh, Kentucky has, uh, I don't know why I can't think of his name, Hurt, one of their key players, though. He's, he's Hurt, Houston, healthy, and they've been playing great basketball. So, I got Houston. And then to the south side, we got Virginia versus Oregon. And uh, I'm going to have to go with Virginia as much as, like, I don't really want to, I guess. Because for some reason, I have a feeling that Virginia is going to lose to, like, an Oregon. I, have, I had them losing to Wisconsin, but as you can see, that's a lot of red. So, um, I'm going to have to go with... Uh, Virginia on that one just based off of talent, you know, and Oregon's missing Bull Bull, their centerpiece to their team. Manu Bull's son. That's an interesting name. Bull Bull? Why would you name your son Bull when your last name is Bull? I don't get it. But anyway. And then also in the South, we got Purdue versus Tennessee. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be a good matchup. And this might be the best Sweet 16 game that's going to happen which it's possible, but I have a feeling that Tennessee is going to do what they came here to do. They came here to win and they look really good. They're playing good basketball. They played Colgate very well. They just steamrolled them. Uh, they played uh, Iowa pretty well too. And Iowa is not a bad team. So they got Purdue up next. They'll probably do it. So that's about what we got going on. Um, if you like this video, like it. It's easy for you and it helps me. If you like any of my videos, subscribe. Uh, feel free to hit the bell to get notified when new stuff's coming out. I am going to post another one tomorrow, and it's going to be about the book Supermarket and the alternative album that Logic put out. This book's also by Logic. So thank you guys for listening, watching, whatever you're doing with this, and uh, make sure to look out for this tomorrow supermarket. Talk to you guys later. Thank you. Cam Gwynn.